Hey Google, turn the kettle on. All right, turning on the kettle. Let's go with the foods that start with the letter Q, please. What is a quail? Correct. What is a quiche? Yes. What is a quahog? Right. It was the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden. What is a quince? Yes. We started off making an infusion with the rubois tea, simply pouring boiling water over, letting that infuse for roughly three to three and a half minutes. Remove the tea bags to ensure that the bitterness doesn't increase. To prepare the quince, we need to remove the skin and all the blemishes. This is what we call a speed peeler in the industry. You can move through fruits and vegetables really quickly with them. This turning knife comes in really handy get in all the nooks and crannies and remove all the blemishes and pieces of skin left behind that the peeler didn't catch. The quince are naturally high in pectin and can be used jams, jellies and will set naturally when the, the right amount of sugar is added. Careful cutting through the fruit, the knife doesn't get caught on the core. They're roughly the consistency of a potato. I don't recommend trying it raw. You need to move reasonably quick because they do tend to oxidise quickly. This recipe uses simple caster sugar. Two star anise, one cinnamon, one vanilla pod. I haven't bothered scraping the vanilla pod because it's going to simmer and loosen up the insides anyway. Some lemon peel. Cartouche is essential. Form a nice seal on the top. Lid on. Into a preheated oven, 120 degrees Celsius. Be careful of the steam. Color of poached quince varies. These have come out quite light. As the season progresses, expect them to be more ruby red. Reduce the cooking liquor. Pour back over. We're done.